in the last video we have seen that how we can create row level security in SSAS tabular model and uh, we have created some roles here and uh, in one of the video we have created some partitions uh, right like uh, if I click the fact internet sale and uh, these are the two partitions so if I do any changes here like uh, adding tables or uh, creating some relationships dropping some relationship or uh, calculation of the measures and calculated table uh, calculated columns so some kind of adjustment and uh, now if I right click and uh, deploy it will replace all the partitions and uh, roles what we have created here so we need to avoid to replace all these things that's why we have to deploy this model via script so we need to go to the solution explorer right click and go to the and then you have to click open folder in the file explorer click pin so you need to copy this link Control c and then you have to open analysis services deployment wizard that is installed automatically whenever you install the analysis services so this will be deployment analysis services deployment wizard this one click next and here we need to give the path to the database file so just same path bin and here you can see this is the model actually this is the database this is um, this this model is our database and you have to click this one and here you can see the extension of this model is as database and then we have to click next here you have to provide the server name for the analysis services and the database is tabular tutorial click next here you can see we have uh, two categories the first one is the partitions and the other one is the role and members so if you select the first option it will deploy partition and existing partition will be replaced partition for the new table will be deployed but the partition for the existing table will be unaffected for example if I click here and here we can also create a partition like if I right click partitions and uh, we just need to click new and uh, then we can create one partition for the uh, fact internet sale too and here you can add or remove column whatever you want or you can uh, write the sql or, or modify this whole result set with the help of sql statement right so if i create a partition with the sale uh, fact internet sale too with this name and uh, redeploy it will replace the all the existing available partition and will create the new partition the name fact internet sale too so we need to cancel and go to the wizard so we will select this option so we need to keep the existing partitions as it is and if we have created any new partition using the data tools that we want to redeploy and for the role and uh, members this is the same option uh, like if we choose the first one it will replace and uh, then the second is the deploy role and retain members and role will be deployed along with the members for the new role remember for the existing role will be retained and uh, this option will not do anything uh, if I 
create because we can also create roles here as well in the in the data tools so what we need for this example we want the existing roles to be unaffected so we will choose the third option click next next and uh, we processing method it's up to you you can choose default processing full processing or none so we can choose the first one click next next and finish so if i go to the management studio and uh, refresh so everything is as it is if i click to the effect internet sale partitions so here you can see we are getting the same partitions here so just one quick uh, thing to what we can do so if we uh, click the solution Exp explorer and uh, redeploy then we will see what will happen uh deploy close and uh, now if we click and uh, tabular model refresh see it is replaced we are not able to see any role here so if i click table effect internet sales and partitions see there is no partition available here so with the help of a script we can avoid this behavior so this is how we can deploy tabular databases with the help of script so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section Thank you.